How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the brand new, this is the brand new Amazon Fire 7 inch tablet and basically what I want to do is I want to kind of give you a feel for the quality of this device and if it's really worth the $50 they're asking for it, which is an excellent deal for a tablet, but let's check it out. Yeah, I wonder if I got too many of these things. Hmm, not sure. So let's go ahead and check out some of the specs on this new Fire 7 inch tablet. So first of all you can see we have a 7 inch display at 1024 by 600 so that's actually under 720. So it's not even HD just as a first point out. It is Wi-Fi, it does have 8 gigs of internal storage which is probably going to leave you with about 5 when it's all said and done. It is a quad core CPU front and rear facing cameras along with that it does have a micro sd card that's very important because of the only eight gigs of storage you're gonna want to lean a lot on that storage uh, right there in the micro sd card so that's pretty much what you're talking about it does talk about games and apps in here um, movies and accessibility of those kind of things family stuff security and all those things you can access through all the applications Let's go ahead and pull open the seal on this thing, which is super easy to open actually. And let's see how this works. So you pull this little tab and wow, that's actually kind of nice. It's not too bad on opening. That's really simple to get everything out. I was a little surprised by that. So you flap up this one and it does have a little charging brick right here with some Amazon stuff on it right there. What is the amp draw on this thing? That's a 1.5 amp power brick. It does have a USB cable. So let's see, this looks all right. I wonder how long it is. It doesn't look that long. Yeah, so it's a short USB cable. Again, not too surprising, but that's all that's really adequate for what we're doing. Um, here it gives you a bunch of information about the device and basically how to charge it and unlock it. So very minimal, very minimal when it comes to the directions, which who cares, nobody looks at those anyway. But uh, here's a little tab that slid right out very nicely, actually. And we'll open up the packaging. Da 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 da. Shabam. There it is. All right, guys. Now we've got it out of the package. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this bad boy. Along the side of this thing, there's only really a couple things to point out. So, right here is your uh, micro SD card slot on this one side. The other side of the device is completely plain and nothing on it whatsoever. Really guys, the top is where all the action is happening on this tablet. So you have your power button, you have your micro uh, charging port right there, micro USB. You have a little mic pickup. We've got volume up, we've got volume down. We have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's all on, I guess you would call what's the top or the side, depending on how you're holding the device. And then on the other side, direct opposite is nothing, completely plain. So there's really not a lot of different uh, interfaces here. It's pretty much right there on the top. So as you guys can see on the back, we have the two megapixel, yes, two megapixel rear facing camera, the Amazon branding right there. And then this looks like a pretty big speaker grill here. Those holes are kind of huge um, for a speaker on the back. And then I would say that, I mean, this surface here, this. This is very plasticky feeling, and earlier when I was kind of knocking on it, sitting it up, it feels a little bit hollow. Um, so it's, like I said, this is not some high, high-end device. On the front, we have a VGA front-facing camera, so that's going to be uh, terrible. Um, so I would not plan on using that as really a feature. To me, that's not even a feature. It's so uh, The camera is so bad quality. But um, then you have your screen. You've got these very wide half-inch bezels. And about on the sides, half inch, about three quarters of an inch on the top and bottom off the screen. And that's really all you've got in the front. This is a huge fingerprint magnet already, I've found anyway, in my opinion. Actually, the back is too. So now, that being all said, let's power this sucker up and just check out the software and see how it responds to some use. Go ahead and power this bad boy up. And there we go. Now, that's interesting. It already says up here, normal boot. That's a little interesting that it's showing you that already on the beginning of the screen. So here you go, it says fire, standard, I guess, boot animation logo. 
right there. Um, and it is starting up. Man, the reflection on that screen is wicked. You can like totally see my camera in it. Uh, let's just see here. It's still booting. It's initial startup, so it says it's got 65% battery. Uh huh. There we go. So we're at the welcome screen initial setup. Let me just uh, skip through that and show you guys what it's running. And that is very interesting because right off the get go, we go directly into a software update. Now, if it's going to do this, that's interesting. I wonder if there's, there's got to be a way around it. And I might have to figure that out because I'm guessing, and you know how I roll, I like to go ahead and hack stuff. So I'm guessing that the original software that came on them didn't have some of the latest and greatest security patches and maybe we could root it. So it might be something to look into is how to bypass this software update. Basically connect to a Wi-Fi spot that doesn't actually have internet or something and kind of get around it so it can't actually download anything. There's got to be a way to do that and I may have to look into that to see what actually comes on its stock. But I mean this is like day one of these devices so... It's getting the initial day one update. Maybe nobody will see what the actual software comes with. But it looks like that update's actually going pretty quick, at least the download. So it probably was a very minimal update. But let's let it finish this update process. And 30 minutes later, the OTA update finished. Hooray! Now we get to check out this device. So this is actually cool. I'm actually not used to this uh, screen here. I'm used to the other interface. So this must be a newer uh, version for the Fire, new OS for them. But I want to go into settings really quickly and see if uh, I can muddle through this and uh, find out what we're running here actually. So if I go to system update, I think it'll tell you. Yes, right here. So this is running Fire OS 5.0.1. So that would basically be Lollipop because FireOS FireOS is based on Android. So basically you're running a Lollipop version of Android that is like super, super, super heavily skinned. So that would be the best way I can explain that. Like I said, this is the Fire 5th Gen. Yeah, 5th Gen. There's been that many of them at this point. And yeah, so basic settings. Uh, I don't know if there's anything super interesting in here. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything, so... May look through that later, but here's basically your user interface, and uh, so let's just, let's just take take a scroll or a stroll. So videos, this is stuff if you have to register your device. I've not registered this thing yet, so these things would pop up and uh, populate in here once you did that. Music, audiobooks, newsstand, so you can go through all of that stuff. Home, recent, I haven't launched anything. So just to show you, we'll go open like calculator. Wow, <laughs> that's hilarious. You can't even look at a calculator? Come on, without registering? Okay, so here we go. So this actually looks exactly like the Android-based uh, clock, and, you know, it's the standard stuff. But if we go back, that should, yeah, it is. It's in recents now. So that's what I was expecting to see. Same with, like, camera. And it's looking, you know, on the back facing camera, like, really close to something. But... Then we should be able to swipe up, go back to home, and scroll over, and... Oh, this is weird. Oh, that was funny. You see how it was, like, up in the air? I don't know, a little glitch or something. So, you know, all your all your recents will start populating here, and they have these bigger icons, which is kind of cool. I mean, I like it. It looks, looks good. You also have this, which is your recent applications, which, again, this is very much a lollipop. And you can scroll through it and shortcut right to something. So, wow, this actually... You know what? This OS is much improved from back in the day when I first started playing with these Amazon devices. I like this interface much better. You also have library, and looks <laughs> looks like it's all and empty. So I guess because nothing's been installed from there, nothing's showing up. App updates, none are available. Very interesting. Just curious. I didn't know how this thing was gonna was gonna work. And then in here, it doesn't look like there's any scrolling in there either. So this must be all the applications. At least that's why I'm seeing it. So got weather, games, basic stuff. Once you register, I mean, obviously you can download things from the Amazon App Store. So that's not a big deal. See right there, App Store. You do have the Silk browser, so we can open up that really quick. That should function. Yes, it does. 
So just some information about it, get started, yada, yada, yada. Let's go over here and check out the keyboard. Actually, this will be a good test. So we can go to Root Junkie. This is my site. And it should do a little search for it, and it does. There it is. And check out the site and just see how things load and operate. Yeah, not bad, not bad. It's my latest post, basically, on all the new Nexus stuff that came out yesterday. So that's pretty sweet specs and different stuff. Actually, this looks seems to work okay. So that's interesting, slide over panel. I think you'd use it if you've gone to multiple pages. You could slide that over and swoop to the next page. So not too bad. Now this is interesting. This is not loading the mobile site like it should be. I don't know why, but uh, all right, whatever. Let's also check out our pull downs and you can see a bunch of quick shortcuts. You can go right to camera, right from your pull down. That's actually kind of cool. I've always liked that on most uh, on devices and see how that works. Settings, rotation, brightness, battery, the user. Oh yeah, man, this is like totally lollipop. There's really not as much skin on it as there used to be, which I'm, like I said, I'm liking this. This is nice. Let's go ahead and rotate this thing around and just see if it does change rotation and it does. Let's see how it operates in this portfolio, or in this rotation. So here we go. There you go, now you can see you added the Silk Browser. And there is some scrolling there, okay. Now that you're in this orientation, you can see it scrolls. So that was all the applications. So they're all right here on the home page, which is very much like an iPhone, but you know, it's not really that bad. Email, I'm trying to see what other things we have here. Docs, contacts. I wonder if I can get into calendar without having an account set up. <laughs> that's hilarious all these things are so integrated they really want you in their integrated system and I mean I get it it's fine but just funny let's check out the lock screen really quick all right that's interesting so you have a short so it tells you your Wi-Fi connection your time your date your battery your user my uh, fire there's one notification there and then you have a shortcut to launch your camera or swipe to unlock Let's see if I can pull up. So, oh, it's a time zone thing, so they want me to change my time zone. No, that's fine. I actually, can I swipe that away? Yeah, I can. Yeah, all right. Not bad. I mean, this really isn't a bad device. So, let me know, guys. I don't know. I'll see what your guys' thoughts are. I'm going to maybe play a little bit more with this thing myself and see how I like using it and getting a feel for it. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. Maybe if you let me know if you want to see like a more full review after I've used it for a while. Um, and sign into my accounts and all that kind of stuff. Well guys, there's my uh, kind of first impressions here on the Amazon Fire 7 inch 5th gen tablet. What a bargain device this is. And you know what, I actually, I like it. I actually like it so far, just my initial impressions is for the price that you're paying, this is gonna be great. A great tablet for the non-power user for your kid to have and if he breaks it's not the end of the world it's just like whatever 50 bucks whatever i'll get a new one you know what i mean those kind of things so for what it is and for the right market it's a great price and a great device so definitely if you're interested i would say check it out for 50 bucks it's it's not bad at all um i would say you know what this has really been the year of you know budget friendly devices when it comes to phones tablets all the specs in these things have been enough for a while and actually now you're getting specs in these high-end flagships that are they're huge it's not even using all the specs that it has so something like this now you can get these budget devices that are actually adequate which is really cool so I'm definitely loving that now on that note you are probably wondering what is he gonna do with seven of these tablets or six actually my bad um, that is a great question. Well, I actually have plans for qu quite a few of them actually already. That's why I actually bought so many. But I am going to take this one right here and maybe maybe this one too. I'm not, not really sure yet. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to give these away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the video description down below. It's going to take you to my website, which is rootjunkie.com. And it's going to bring you to a specific post. And that post is going to have a little bit of information on how to enter the giveaway and with all the rules and all those kind of things. So you're going to definitely want to check that link down in the video description down below to get full official rules and how this is going to actually operate for you. So that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this review here, kind of unboxing first impressions of this uh, new Amazon tablet. 
Do you want to say thanks for watching this far? And if, since you have, you obviously know it is a giveaway. So props to you. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.